The commission overseeing the Niles fiscal emergency tonight approved the latest changes to the recovery plan, knowing full well it could change again. The unknown is whether the Niles Wellness Center will be leased. If not, next year could mean more financial problems. The fiscal commission meeting in Niles. It's our top story at 11. At the Niles Wellness Center tonight, there was soccer practice, pickup basketball, and walks around the track. While at the same time, a mile away, the commission overseeing Niles fiscal emergency was debating the validity of leasing the wellness center versus the city continuing to operate it. I see things in the lease that just don't make sense. Commission member John Davis questioned leasing the wellness center. What happens if no one's interested? If it's leased, hey, you know, we're in better shape. If it's not, the mayor's going to have to very quickly present to us, no, it can't be back to the drawing board. It's got to be, you got to have something ready to go hit the ground running. The wellness center was just one part of the meeting in which the commission eventually approved 12 amendments to a plan to get Niles out of fiscal emergency. Items like buying a fire truck and replacing police cars, repairing streets, installing water meters, and allowing council a say on the need to hire. But Tim Linter of the Ohio Auditor's Office also talked about excessive overtime. The water overtime is up 91 percent. The light overtime is up 76 percent. Niles Safety Service Director Jim DePascal justified the overtime, saying it was either to help get new businesses started near the Eastwood Mall or for emergencies like fixing water lines. The plan is not perfect, and to that, Commission Chairman Quentin Potter put it best. That they feel that this is the best plan that you can put forward right now um, under the circumstances um, and that you're willing to take those risks and understanding that immediate action will have to be taken um, if they don't pan out. Well, First News also learned that at tonight's city council meeting, three councilmen announced that they will not be running for re-election next year. They are Council President Bob Marino, Councilman at Large Steve Papalis, and Frank Pisano of the First Ward. Now, Council also approved seeking bids on that wellness center lease. You can read the entire financial plan. We have it posted for you on our website, wkbn.com.